Welcome back, friends. You know, we had a chance to sit down with Kelly Willis and get the 411 and the 512 on all of her music making in 2018. She not only put out her first full-length solo record in over 10 years with Back Being Blue, but she and husband, our friend, Bruce Robinson, released the single, If I Had a Rose. You'll dig it. If I had a rose, held it in my hand Standing at your door, would I be the man? Bruce and I recently went back into the studio just to record a couple of songs. We haven't done any duo recording for several years now. So we were just kind of getting our feet wet again. And we did this one song, it's an Adam Wright uh, penned tune called If I Had a Rose. I discovered this song from this uh, wonderful writer named Adam Wright, who he, he, he writes songs that they get on the radio, but I discovered that in his catalog, he's got all of these other songs that are just the kind of songs that I love. And it really does remind me of a song that Don Williams or, or George Strait would have recorded. So simple, but so brilliant. It's so country. I just think it's that song is a modern classic, you know, we'll see. If you said you would, maybe I will. Bruce collected a handful of songs, let's say four or five songs. And at home, Bruce is always trying to get me to sit down and sing with him. It's like his favorite thing to do. And I'm always like, I got a thousand other things I got to do today. So, so that's half the struggle is him talking me into sitting down and working on these songs. So um, we went through these songs, and but we started singing this one and messed around with it and found the sweet spot on that song and just, oh, well, this is the one. You know, it just becomes clear. If I had a ring a little box. Just kind of this sweet little love song. Bruce and I, when we do songs together, it's not often that I get to sing the lead and he does the harmony. Um, because we just, it just works really good when he's doing the lead and I'm doing the harmony. That's kind of our sweet spot. But um, this one was, this one worked better the other way around. It was funny because the lyrics are written from a man's point of view. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's magic when you make it, when you switch the gender on it. And that's what we did. And it just, uh, it's, I think it's one of the best things we've ever done. Really love it. trying to make a solo record for, I don't know, 10 years, a long time. It's always been on my back burner that eventually I'm gonna go make another solo record. What happened was one day I sat down and I wrote this song called Back Being Blue. And it just, light bulbs went off. I just knew what I wanted to do. I suddenly had my vision and that was the game changer for me. I, I knew that I wanted to kind of try and do this classic sounding, folk country, like this, um, like a girl, girl duo, kind of a folky country sound. And I wanted to kind of incorporate the stuff that had excited me about music in the very beginning, which was this kind of uh, rockabilly, old timey country, garage bands. And so with that in mind, I went ahead and wrote some of the other songs. And I wrote them by myself. Usually I co-write and that was really different for me to, I just, I just was on a roll, and that's never happened. So the main thing is I got Eleanor Whitmore involved. Eleanor Whitmore um, had played fiddle with both Bruce and I in the past and had been on the road with me and sung with me a lot, and I knew she was the right voice. I knew she was the voice that needed to be my, my you know, girl duo. Um, there's one song that I wrote called Freewheeling that um, was probably the most important one for me in terms of the girl duo 
it was this descending little line that, that I thought was unique and different and where it might be the weird song on the record. And I, my favorite songs on anyone's record are always the weird ones because I appreciate that there was some art involved in that and that it was a little bit of a leap. And uh, that's what I thought freewheeling was. resisted making it with Bruce because I really felt like I, it needed to be my solo record. But it, the people I would talk to, I would come back to Bruce and I'd be like, I don't know if they understood what I was going for. And he would always get what I was talking about. He knew what I was going for. So it was almost irritating in a way, but <laughs> I'm like, well, I think you need to help me make this record. I'm, I don't know that anybody else would be able to do as good a job as you would. Don't step away from me, don't, don't step away from me. We really make an effort to, to separate our careers within our marriage to, to, to have that be in the right place. But uh, I thought I understood what she was going at and, uh, and I believed in the song so much that it's like being on a movie. You're a little family for a little while that uh, the, the band members and the people and the songs and, and you're part of this little community uh, and we're not husband and wife within that community. It's all about the music. It's, it's a unique experience. I don't know if everybody, a lot of people get to see and feel that and uh, being part of a husband and wife thing. It's special, I, I appreciate it a lot.